Obviously, it seems closer to sin and scandal. I would say the monarchy is, is, an, is a total mess now. Some say the royal family of Monaco is living under a curse. They have had the most terrible tragedies, the worst of which was Princess Grace driving over the edge of the cliff. But it didn't stop there. Princess Caroline's husband was killed in, in, in a powerboat race. And then Princess Stephanie went, went and horrified the establishment, if you like, by having children by someone and not marrying them. But now it's the wild child of the principality who could turn things around. That's right, Princess Stephanie, the rock and rollin', club hopping little miss, is finally settling down. Here's Stephanie with like one kid and she's pregnant again and her father has finally said, okay, now I'll give you permission to get married. I guess he's so ashamed that she's, that she's pregnant again that he can, you know, I mean, better to, to have her married off to somebody that he thinks is a bum than to keep having kids with the bum and not be married. It's news that would have made Princess Grace very happy. After all, she was the one who put the smallest country in the world on the map. Indeed, when Princess Grace married Prince Rainier back in 1956, it seemed like a storybook. They were the perfect couple, raising three perfect children. Monaco quite simply fascinated the world, and Princess Grace was the star. She gave the place something that it never had before. She gave it glamour and style. But tragedy would rip apart this fairy tale with the untimely death of Princess Grace over 13 years ago. And with her passing, many believe the royal family went from being distinguished to dysfunctional. Prince Rainier must be tearing what remains of his hair out. Rainier's biggest problem child is his daughter Stephanie, and her various romances have frequently made her seem more raunchy than royal. She has no qualms about seeing us. Uh, being topless at the bathing clubs in Monaco, kissing passionately at this rather unruly, uh, ungentlemanly security guard that Prince Rainier can't stand. But of course, this fellow is the father of his grandchild, and is going to be the father of another grandchild of Rainier's. But now, with bodyguard boyfriend Danielle Ducret making an honest princess of her, Dad is back to worrying about Princess Caroline. When her husband died a, a few years ago, she discovered that not only had he left her massive debt, but he'd also uh, had a mistress almost the entire time that they were married. So that was very humiliating and difficult for her. Today, Caroline is living with a rich actor in the south of France. And for her also, it does look like a marriage is in the works. But not so for Prince Albert. And that could mean the death of Monaco. Prince Albert, uh, if he doesn't get married and have a natural child, uh, the principalities of Monaco, as I understand it, will revert back to France, therefore losing all its tax haven qualifications, which will radically change the country. By law in Monaco, if Albert doesn't marry and have a son, the royal line will die with him. Monaco royalty does not succeed to daughters, and at age 36, many hope Prince Albert isn't getting too old. Prince Albert has been seen with myriad beauties, including Brooke Shields and Claudia Schiffer, but of course has never married any of them, and the likelihood of him marrying in the near future is uh, out of the question, I would think. All in all, things aren't looking good for Monaco, and some say this jewel near the sea is beginning to look a little gaudy. These days it's like Atlantic City by the sea, with uh, coach tours, uh, day trippers, uh, fish and chips, uh, cheap wine. I think the whole thing will just become like any beach resort anywhere. Although no official date has been announced, sources say Princess Stephanie's wedding is set for May.